This 19th century carriage house in Batavia could be demolished just to make way for four new parking spots. And that has village residents in an uproar tonight. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why Claremont County commissioners are considering the demolition of this historic building and what neighbors are doing to try to stop it. This, I think, would be a true slap in the face. Cindy Johnson is secretary of Claremont County's Historical Society. She is fighting to save a Batavia carriage house that dates back to 1892. Claremont County commissioners own the building and may demolish it in order to create four new parking spots. I'm horrified. There's lots of parking. <laughs> There's not lots of carriage houses. Batavia is the seat for Claremont County, where county offices and the Board of Election are housed. And commissioners say more parking is needed. This campus here, you know, obviously needs parking space. It needs the ability to have drive through space for paying taxes and things like that, like other counties do. This is video of Commissioner Dave Painter at a November 17th meeting. Commissioners talked about demolishing or moving the carriage house, which the county uses for storage. In a statement to the I-team, the three commissioners say in part, we appreciate the concern raised by citizens at a recent meeting and are aware of the petition and will take this input into consideration. Citrus strip on it. Courtney Huber started the petition to save the carriage house. It has nearly 2,400 signatures. I think the village residents and the community um, would like to see that their town stay historical and preserved. And um, I, I don't know that the county shares that same sentiment. She bought two historic buildings from the county last year that were also on the demolition block to renovate with her husband, Adam. One is now a boutique. I believe the county had it and it was there was a wall here. The other will house a communal workspace called Zeal Collective. That building was once a beer and billiards hall owned by German immigrant Carl Horner. I guess he served oysters here. He also built the carriage house behind it, which Huber also wants to buy to create an event space if the county doesn't demolish it. And we're just sort of so eager to tear down history. Incoming Batavia Councilman Scott Runk hopes that the county listens to what the village wants. We have a finite amount of buildings left in this village, and we, try to, we want to try to keep as many historical bu uh, buildings as we can. The Claremont County Commissioners say they're willing to consider all options when it comes to the fate of this building, but they do not know when they will make a final decision. Reporting from Batavia, Paula Christian, WCPO 9, ITV.